it's Betsy and today we have a fun video. We're going to be testing out the new ColourPop Times Bambi collection. Now I purchased this upon release date and the full collection retails for $115. So in the collection there are three separate palettes. There's the Bambi palette. It is a five pan and it retails for $14. I'm trying to make sure I tell you the correct prices because I have them up over here. Then we have the flower palette, which is my favorite, which again retails for $14. The thumper palette, which looks like this. Then you have the lip liners, which they're the life of the woods. You can take and purchase these individually or as a set. They're $8 each or the set is $24. I love the ColourPop Gel Cream Eyeliners. So first off, we've got the shade Purdy, which is like more of a mauve tone. Then we have Meadow, which is a pale yellow. And last but not least, we have Raindrops, which is like a warm tone, metallic-y copper. So those are very, very pretty. Then you have the uh, Twitter Pated Lip Gloss Set, which this retails for $27. Our the Lux lip glosses are $9 each. You can also purchase these by set, like for which character you want. And then we have the Pixie Puff Highlighter in Morning Light, and this retails for $16. And last but not least, we have the Oh Dear False Lashes, which retail for $10, which I'm not gonna be using these today. I'm doing a test on some mascara, so I can't wear falsies for the next month. But we are gonna test and we're gonna play with the eyeshadow palettes. I figure we're gonna take and do like a mixture of all three because there's only 15 shades. And honestly, the one that I'm most excited about is the Flower pal Palette. Um, but I love all things Disney, so I purchased the whole thing. So we're going to start off by swatching. So this is the Thumper collection. So we've got Miss Bunny, Friend Owl, I'm Thumping, I like that color, Long Ears, and Great Big Feel. So Miss Bunny, Friend Owl, I'm thumping, long ears, and great big feel. So great big feel is definitely, as you can see, it is a matte with glitter. Um, but none of these palettes have pressed glitters in them. And then this is the flower palette. So we've got So Shy. Flower's one of my favorites anyway. Pretty flower. Oh gosh, oh that's beautiful. Little stinker and hibernating. So we've got So Shy, Pretty Flower, Oh gosh, Little Stinker, and Hibernating. Again, hibernating is one of the mattes with glitter in it. So that is those two, which I think they both really represent spring. And I think that these, if you actually travel anywhere, these would be good for travel. And we're gonna wipe away those swatches. So let's show you that again. That's thumper on this side and flower on this side, which I know a lot of people's favorite character in Bambi is thumper, honestly. Mine is flower. There's something about him that just is endearing. Now we're gonna swatch the Bambi. So we've got Little April Showers. Feline, which if you're not familiar, Feline is Bambi's girlfriend. Young Prince, kind of bit bashful, and Whitetail. So, there's one shimmer in this one and the others are mattes. So we've got Little April Showers, Feline, Young Prince, Kinda Bashful, 
and white till. So that's all five shades in there. So again, very, very pretty, very pretty. And we've got the Bambi highlighter. I did go ahead and remove the thingy off of it, the plastic. So we're gonna shake some of this out so I can swatch that for you. So to me, this is, there you go. That's what the highlight looks like. There you go. So it's nice and glowy, but there is, I'm not sure if you can tell from the swatch, there is a lot of glitter in it. But it is pretty, so I am happy to have it. So let's play with some color on our eyes. So I've got my e.l.f. eye tapes here. I still have on a ton of mascara, or not mascara, black eyeliner from yesterday. If you didn't watch, we did Makeup Magpies. Yesterday was Steven's channel, so every two weeks we do it and we swap between our channels. So, as I said, the main color story I wanna stick with is Bambi, or with uh, Flower, but we are gonna use some of the colors from like Thumper, I think. So this is a BK Beauty 201 brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade Friend Owl, which is just a good nude shade. And we're gonna use that to set the primer. And I'm using the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Primer today in the shade Light. Okay, so we're just gonna apply that to our transition area. Nothing major. And I think this is just gonna be a pretty kind of pastel-y springtime look. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Long Ears, which is just a tad bit deeper, same brush. And we're just gonna use that in the crease just to add a little bit of depth. There we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Now we're gonna go into the flower palette and we're gonna go into Pretty Flower. I love that kind of color. It's like a pinky purple. Very pretty. And I'm using the same brush because that's okay to use. And we're just taking and layering like we normally do. Okay, now I need something a little bit Smaller, so this is the Kaleidos, what brush is this, the S2. And we're gonna go into this shade, Little Stinker, which is more of that purpley shade. Now I will say that these shadows are extremely crumbly and kind of messy compared to normal for ColourPop. I don't mind it, but I know some people that that will bother you. So I definitely wanna make sure when I'm talking about it that people know, look how pretty that is. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And we're just gonna add that to the crease because to me, like these purpley pinks are like the perfect color for spring and Easter time. And I don't know about y'all, but Bambi always invokes Easter to me. Um, I don't know why, but I love Bambi. And this collection didn't do or sell out as quickly as most color pop in Disney, but you know, I don't think Bambi is always the favorite to use. So I'm gonna grab, this is a BK Beauty 203. So as you can see, it's a dense, fluffy brush. I need to turn the autofocus back off. Jeremy used my camera and now, I don't know what it's doing. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Hibernating, which is like that black with the purple glitter. And as you can see, it picks up a whole lot on the brush and we're just going to keep that in the outer crease just kind of blend it together i wish they would have used an actual dark purple instead of a black um i don't think it would have been as harsh 
So there's a critique already. And I wish the color palettes were a little bit more cohesive. Like Bambi, I feel like is the right kind of color palette for a deer. I feel like Flowers is pretty good, but Thumpers, something about it just doesn't set well. Like I think it should have more gray. If you know what I mean, like because Thumper was a gray rabbit. I mean, hello. So I'm going to grab, this is the Nabla N204. So it's like a dense kind of shader brush. Um, I like to use these to apply some shimmer. So I think we're going to go into the shade Oh Gosh, which is right here in the flower palette, which is like a purple with some gold to it. We're going to spray it that always tends to help with application and we're just going to stamp that on the first portion of our eye that looks really pretty ah. don't forget to spray because this definitely needs it it is a crumbly crumbly shade it's pretty once you get it on but if you don't like wetting your brush when using a shimmer, this would definitely probably be more of a, a better shadow for a finger swatch or to put it on your eyeball. I don't always prefer shades like that. I like to use a brush, but I do like the color and the pigment behind it. So this is what we've got going so far i'm gonna gonna take and blend over the edges add just a tiny bit more black to make sure everything's blended together there we go and i didn't add any more color so now what we're going to do is i'm going to go off camera do the rest of my face and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line and lips and stuff like that and talk about my thoughts on the eyeshadows so i'm back and i have the rest of my face on so first thing i want to do is i want to take and use the highlighter actually as a highlight so i'm going to grab this is a bk beauty 108 and i just dumped a bunch in the cap and we're going to highlight with this. This is a beautiful highlight. Now this is made more of a body highlight, but my body never gets seen other than by my husband. And I don't highlight my body. You know, who does? But it is a pretty highlight. See that? It's got a beautiful color. And if you hear a lisp when I'm talking, I took and hit my tooth so I'm wearing my retainers because I whacked my face and it hurts. So we're gonna use the flower, which is this lip gloss, which is a purpley tint. Let's see how that looks. And these are pretty clear. I mean, They're just a clear lip gloss. Maybe with a tad bit of purple tint to it, but nothing major. I don't mind Color Pops formula, but it is a little on the sticky side. And there are glosses I like better. But again, I bought this because it was Bambi. And this box I will actually keep because I love that it says Twitter painted. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to take the purpley colored, which is the Purdy Eyeliner, and we're going to line our waterline. And I will, I mean, for the most part, I haven't tried a bad one of these liners from ColourPop. So, um, if you're looking for good, affordable, colorful liners, the one from ColourPop are, I really enjoy them. So this is the 231 from Zoeva, which is just like a small pointed fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Pretty Flower. 
and apply that under my eyes because I don't want anything super dark today. I want purple, but I want it to be like that, you know, like a wash of color. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty. I'm gonna take, this is the BK Beauty 207, and we're gonna go into the shade Sh So Shy and apply that in the inner corner. There we go. And that is pretty much the collection. I think these are cute, unless you're an absolute Bambi fan or a Disney fan, I would just pick the character you like the most. The most you don't need all three of these but i'll collect this stuff so i am happy that i have them the highlight i love the packaging but it's nothing special the lip gloss again nothing special to me the standout things from this collection the thing that i love the most is the flower ah, eyeshadow palette which is gorgeous i love the look and the eyeliners because i love these eyeliners i love all of the color pop liners like that so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it that will notify you when i post new videos which is typically monday wednesday and friday but i guess that's it so we'll see y'all later bye